Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how to install and remove dev packages in Ubuntu 23.10 or newer. So one of the major changes that was made in Ubuntu 23.10 was the replacement of the long-standing Ubuntu software application that allowed you to install and remove both Snap packages as well as native Debian packages. However, in the latest release of Ubuntu, this has now been replaced by a new software store called the App Center, which after using it for a short while now, I've noticed that it has two regressions in functionality. The first regression is that you can no longer install any dev packages that you've downloaded from the internet. And dev packages in this case for people that are maybe new to Linux, kind of think of them as the Ubuntu equivalent to EXE files on Windows. In fact, you'll often find that dev files are used to install a wide range of commercial software such as Google Chrome, Steam, Discord or TeamViewer. And in fact, many projects on GitHub will provide these files due to the popularity of Ubuntu. In most cases, you'll find that if a piece of software is supported on Linux, then more than likely, there's going to be a dev file that you can download to install that piece of software. So the second regression that I found is that although it is possible to install both Snap and Debian packages using the new App Center, there's no method to actually remove any installed Debian packages, as it only allows you to remove Snaps. So I suppose at this point is, what's the actual solution? Well, annoyingly, we have to install another software center, which in this case, we're gonna go with GNOME Software. So to install that using the new app center, all we need to do is run a search for the word software, and a couple of results just come up. But the main one you want to pick up under the Debian packages is unsurprisingly, software. Now in my case, I've already installed this ahead of time since I actually use this to manage my Flatpak packages that I've got installed on this machine. But for you, you'll probably find there's gonna be a big green install button. But in either case, once you've installed the application, launch it as you normally would do. So now that GNOME software is installed, we can actually use it to install any dev packages that we may have downloaded from the internet. However, to make this default, we need to first click on a downloaded dev file. The one I've got here is TeamViewer. And we'll right click on it, go to option here where it says open with. And we're going to scroll down the list of applications that we can open this file with. We want to scroll down to get to the option here where it says software installed. If you click on the top entry here, and then at the bottom here where it says always use this file type, you want to toggle that on as well, and then click open. What this will do is it'll now open the dev file to be installed using GNOME software. So from here, it's just a matter of clicking the install button. Okay, so this point TeamViewer is now installed. So let's go to our software launcher and let's open up TeamViewer. There you go, team viewers load up absolutely fine. Now, I'll just make a point that obviously in the future, if you have any other Debian files, then you can just double click on them. And at that point, it will automatically open up in GNOME software. So the second regression I mentioned was the ability to remove any installed Debian packages. So once again, we're gonna be using GNOME software to do that. What we need to do is click on the option here where it says installed, and then find what we want to uninstall from our system. So uh, let's go for, we'll go for Lutris. So click on install, click on install. And once the process is completed, it'll now be removed from the list over here. Now for some reason, and I'm not sure why this is the case, but I have found that sometimes when you install a application using a dev package, it doesn't always appear on this list. And funny enough, TeamViewer that we installed earlier, uh, doesn't appear on this list. If that's the case, what you can do is if we just close down GNOME software, you can actually double click on the TeamViewer dev file again. And only this time you get the option here to uninstall rather than install. And from here, it's the same process as before. But in our case, with that, you now know how to install and remove dev files on Ubuntu 23.10 and newer. So in conclusion, the direction that Ubuntu is going, especially when it comes to software management, is highly likely to be snap package orientated in the future. But like many things in Linux, there are always ways to get around that and there's always alternatives. Now, of course, everything I've shown in this video can be done using the terminal, but for most people, I would recommend a GUI method as it's far more user friendly and especially for new users of Linux. But in either case, thank you very much for watching this video today and don't forget to leave a like share the video, and if you like what I do and want to support me, then click that subscribe button for more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time. Bye now.